Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at my small VR warehouse experience that I kept bashed in Unreal Engine 5.1 using Quixel Mega Scans assets, Scans Factory assets, and other marketplace assets. Now, let me show you what this looked like before on the screen right now. And then, obviously, I'm going to go walk through here so you can kind of see what it looks like now. Uh, first things first, if you are a member on my YouTube channel, if you go to the member page, I did provide this link for y'all to test out. Uh, just a reminder, the lowest GPU that this was tested out in was 3070. It is using Lumen. It is using Nanite. So just keep that in mind. If your GPU is a 1660, I'm not sure if that's going to be able to run this. Um, but yeah, but if you're not a member of the channel, I'm going to put the link in the description below for an art station link. I put this up for like a dollar forty or something like that. Uh, but basically, what I made this for is again, I want to start creating small VR environments to just test your system and test your headset. I got the Vive Pro Two uh, this week, and I really wanted to test it out. I wanted to see how good it will look in a photorealistic VR environment like this. All right? So here you are on the left side again. By the way, if you get dizzy a lot. Stop watching this video right now because we are going to be walking around in here in VR. And I'm going to try my best to kind of move slow here. So on the left side right here, we have some instructions. I am using NVIDIA image scaling right here. So if you press your mouse button, click it once, that's going to let you actually type in some stuff. Like J is going to be turning on image scaling with pixel density of 0.8. And then K is going to be off. And if your computer is really struggling running this, press L. That's going to drop the pixel density to like 0.6 and with image, uh, with image scaling on. So that should help you out. All right. So yeah, locomotion teleport. If you click the left touchpad, that's going to change it from locomotion to teleport. You can turn using your wand. I have a wand, not a valve index. You can grab a gun and shoot trigger, your usual. So I have grab right now, and then I can shoot as well. OK, so yeah. Let's look at this environment right now. I had a lot of fun actually putting this together because, you know, when I was making it, I was pulling the reference from previous experiences when I was visiting, um, you know, like a lot of abandoned stuff in Europe. You know, places from like World War II, and that's really where I pulled all this kind of together from just having a blank slate. It's just very, very random. Like, the real world is so random that, you know, that's what I kind of try to do here. And again, this is my first time kit bashing a warehouse scene, and it's not going to be my last time because I had a lot of fun here. So let's kind of move around. Got some photo scanned burnt card right here, looking pretty nice. And I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and turn on the uh, image scaling. So I'm going to left click my mouse. I'm going to press L. And this is going to go to that 0.6 lowest quality. So you can see that. This is K. This is going to be with image scaling off 0.8 pixel density. And this is J. This is going to turn on image scaling. And again, as far as I know, you don't need to have an RTX card to use NVIDIA image scaling. It's pretty nice, and it works in VR, which is freaking amazing. So here we go. Got a nice car, and I do wish I have a bigger space, but my room is like 10 feet by 8 feet. It's not very big. That's why I'm having to use my little touchpad. And I'm just pretty excited because eventually, you know, we're going to have actual games that will look like this in VR. And speaking of, uh, as far as Nanite goes, the total triangle count for this entire level for this room and the other room is 911,000 triangles with Nanite on. I would say 98% of what you see here are Nanite enabled. Uh, without Nanite, I don't think I'm going to be able to run this right now at this frame rate because all of these assets right here, these this is from Quixel Megascans, these are high poly assets. So without Nanite, I would probably not be able to run this right now. 
uh, let alone on a 3070. So again, I'm trying to demonstrate how and why Nanite and Lumen are such big deals whenever it comes to like game developing because all of these assets, this one right here is 2 million triangles, this pile of rock right here by itself uh, without Nanite, which is again, <laughs> freaking amazing, man. I can't wait until we get stuff like this in VR. Let me move my headset real quick just down this sliding. And I got a pistol right here. So I'm going to pick that up. And what's cool about this is, you know, you can practice your shooting in here because, you know, shooting, I'm not trying to, like, you know, promote violence here, but you can shoot as a sport as well, you know, for accuracy. So this is something fun. Think about, like, you know, like duck, duck hunt, but in VR. So I have some cans kind of laid around all over the level and you can kind of like shoot it and play with it a little bit. And as you can see, it hit my left one because my, um, I only have two trackers, unfortunately, uh, base stations. So it's not as accurate whenever I'm close to it. I'm not in the middle of my room. But if you have a bigger room than me, then your shots are gonna be a lot more accurate than mine. See, so look at that. I backed up a little bit. It's pretty cool. I put some on top of this little, what it, which more call this right here. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to hit that. But you know, you can invite some friends over and be like, hey man, check this out. We have some VR shooting range type of deal. And maybe y'all can time how long it takes for y'all to, to knock everything out. You know, just something cool. Back in the day, you know, if you buy like a magazine, you get this demo of video games. That's what I'm trying to do here. Just small photorealistic VR demos. But eventually, I do want to make some legit games with storyline. Not necessarily heavy on the gameplay, but more heavy on the story itself. Because I want to tell stories. Doesn't matter how, how I tell the story, I just want to tell a story. And I think VR in a situation like this right here, I can definitely tell a story in here, which is a little bit of mocap and acting. Uh, not from me, obviously, but from other people. We can tell some pretty cool stories in here, even in small environments like this, as long as there's obviously a loading screen, right? Which I really don't mind having loading screens. Got some cute rabbits right there. Now, one of my favorite movies is uh, Of Mice and Men, or Mice and Men, not Of Mice and Men, uh, Mice and Men, so you get to tend some rabbits right there. Go back over here. It, it's really amazing, right? For somebody to come from, with, with zero background of game developing, um, with just a little bit of time and effort, Quixel Mega Scans, free, Unreal Engine free, I mean, you can do you can do this. It, it, it's just exciting to me. <laughs> it's pretty it's pretty crazy, you know. <laughs> Look at that. Oh man, I'm like turning into John Wick now. Look at that. Mm. Oh my gosh! Look at that. Sharpshooter, right? You know, I am coming from a Vive Pro first gen so that's like 90 hertz and this one right here is turned to performance mode which by the way whenever you get the vive pro 2 by default it's set to ultra you might want to change that because <laughs> i try to run this by default and i got like 0 0.00008 fps so if you're going to try this go to your vive console for steam vr and turn it to performance you're going to get 120 hertz if you have the uh, vive pro 2 and then for the Steam VR resolution, I set this to the actual headset resolution. Again, by default, it was like 5K. Um, and it's not going to run. Ain't no way. Eventually, one day. I love this, man. All right, so this room right here, I do have part of it photo scanned, right? But on the other side, this right here, this room, this is all geometry, okay? Like, not photo scanned. These are Quixel Mega Scans assets and Scans Factory, not like an entire FBX, not like the before picture that I showed you. So all of this right here are all objects, if that makes sense. Because what I wanted to do was really curious to see if I could combine both. You know, you have photogrammetry, environment on the left as far as the skeleton the outline and then you have actual geometry which 
it works. It looks great. I think when it comes to realism, this looks a lot better than just photo scanned, in my opinion. And these aren't even displaced, like these bricks. Like, I tried, I want to displace it, but I just don't know how that's going to work out. But as far as this right here, the walls, everything, the ground, these are all static meshes. Not entire FBX photo scan. Got my logo right there, JS Films, right here on the left too. That looks pretty cool. I think my next purchase is going to be like Valve Index hands because the wand, um, they're not really comfortable. Got a van right here. I'm going to start creating some horror demos as well, like photorealistic like this, but like scary. That would be cool. Doesn't like some horror games, right? And you know, something I noticed for some reason, whenever I'm doing realistic VR demos like this, I don't get as dizzy as if I play something that don't look realistic. Um, because I can, I can be in here for a long time. But whenever I try VR games that are not photorealistic, I get really nauseous after a while. So this is kind of cool because I guess my brain doesn't mind it too much. Because I mean, it is high. I think it is running a decent enough FPS that it's not going to make me sick as easy. I had like an absolute blast lighting this thing. Um, it was really tough because it is looming, so I was getting like light leakage everywhere. But it was worth it. I glitched out there for a second. Okay, let me just position myself. I can't hit this thing. There you go. Yeah, I'm pretty accurate. But yeah. That is pretty much it. For this little VR level. What do y'all think, man? You think I should just stay with my day job and give this up? Let me know in the comments below.